Hi guys, in today's tarot reading, we're going to take a look and see what messages are coming up for you and what is it that you need to know at this particular point in time. Bear in mind that it's a general reading, but it is going to be a reading for those of you that resonate with it the most and a reading for those of you that need it the most. If you are interested in a personal reading, feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is going to be listed below the video. Otherwise, let's take a look and see what messages are coming up for you right now. At the bottom of the deck is the hangman's energy. There is a strong presence of a soulmate energy in the reading. Um, there is someone here very special who's predestined to be with you. Someone who is meant to be with you for a lifetime. This person could be present in your life right now. This is someone that you may be romantically involved with. This is someone who might be present in your life. But for whatever reason, um, maybe you guys aren't romantically involved. This could also be an energy that isn't necessarily romantic. It could be a family member, it could be a sibling, it could be a friend. But there is someone that has a very strong soulmate energy that feels like this person, their energy is meant to be with you a lifetime. This is someone whom you share or you are going to share a very deep and meaningful connection. Um, this is a very spiritual and a very energetic bond for some of you. For some of you watching this, this person is yet to enter your life. There is such a deep and internal bond between you and this person, or there will be a very deep and internal bond between you and um, this person. The For some of you, I feel like you've already met this person, okay? And... Especially with the Six of Swords energy, I feel like there was someone whom you had to cut out of your life. Or there were some things here, some patterns that you had to interrupt that maybe were self-sabotaging or self-deprecating. Patterns that weren't help healthy. You've interrupted those patterns and there's a lot more... You're paying more attention to yourself and your emotional needs and making sure that they're being met. And when you started loving yourself more and by cutting out certain people or certain behaviors or just certain things that aren't healthy for you, this show mate, coincidentally, this uh, soulmate, sorry, showed up in your life. And for some of you, I feel like there is someone whom you share a very deep and intense bond. You might be at the stage where you're not yet recognizing that this person is indeed a soulmate energy. There's such a deep and immediate connection to this person that you're having a hard time understanding 
exactly what this is because you might have never felt this way before there's also this sense of familiarity and almost like this instant connection that <clears throat> you feel towards this person this connection can be physical it can be emotional it can be like an energetic spiritual connection but there's also such a sense of ease and comfort around this individual um There's an energy of you finally being understood by someone. You finally feel like someone understands you, someone gets you. And there's this energy of just feeling completeness or feeling whole. This person has showed up in your life because they're, they're showing you um, some personal like they're showing and encouraging your personal and also perhaps your professional growth this is someone who is helping you overcome obstacles or this is someone who's helping you achieve your dreams helping you achieve the life that you want um, this is someone who is going to show you as well how to produce a healthy relationship just keep in mind that this doesn't have to be a romantic energy Okay, it could be a family member or it could be a friend. Uh, but this person is key on your life's journey to support you, to encourage growth and to help you like together with the with this person, you're going to work through some challenges. This person feels like home to you. Um And I see that this is someone whom you, you're safe letting your guard down with this person. Okay, you are comfortable to share your thoughts, your experiences, your feelings. There's a sense of belonging, there's a sense of acceptance, there's a sense of understanding here. They're definitely in your life to love you and to accept you for who you are. And this is why they've shown up at a point in your life or this is why you're starting to recognize that this is a soulmate energy because you're at a point in your life where you're where you're a lot more loving and accepting of yourself um, this person is here to inspire you to be the best version of yourself okay they're here to motivate you and to inspire you to achieve your goals to help you pursue your dreams your wishes it's crazy because I feel like you have a very strong connection with this person. It's almost like a psyche connection where you can, the both of you can kind of anticipate each other's energy. You can anticipate each other's thoughts and feelings and you are able to communicate with one another, even like outside of uh, verbal communication. This, this energy is not someone who is going, like they're not trying to change you. They're not trying to manipulate you into being someone that you're not. They recognize your special talents and the unique qualities that you have. And this person wants to bring that out of you. And this isn't someone who's going to try to change how you speak or how you dress or how you behave. Instead, this person is in awe of those unique qualities about you. Because they understand that it is a form of your, like it's an extension of you and your identity. Also, this soulmate energy has a friendship quality to it. So it could be someone that you begin off with as friends. Or maybe this is a friend in your, this soul, your soulmate is your friend. Um, but it's someone whom I feel like, because you've started off as a friend or because you've had this friendship quality, um, to your relationship with this person there's definitely this strengthening of an emotional connection and an emotional bond someone who is and has been there for you through good times and through bad times some of you may have felt like a really intense connection to this person like a lot of chemistry and a lot of sparks um, sort of you know, they just fly when you're around this person. For others, maybe this connection is a little bit less intense. It doesn't make it any less special, but it just may be a little bit more of a gradual feeling um, and just a little bit uh, intense. So how, like, 
and just because you weren't able to recognize this is your soulmate right away it it again it doesn't make it any more or less intense it just means that you know the experience of recognizing a soulmate energy it can vary from person to person from individual to individual so don't be so hung up on the fact that you couldn't recognize them right away or don't be so hung up on the fact that this person has been there your whole life and it's taken you a really long time to recognize that this is indeed your soulmate there's definitely some sort of magnetic connection between you and this person um this is someone who listens to your feelings this is someone who who really wants to get to know you like the you when no one is watching there's an empathetic bonding between you and this individual and i feel like this is someone's pain who you can feel um, or i feel like this is also someone who can just sense and understand you and who can sense your pain um, Now, for some of you, I feel like you haven't had this person show up in your life, but your person is coming, okay? Um, your soulmate is near, so you're not going to be waiting too much longer. Instead, use this time to focus on you. Because when this person does show up in your life, or when you do encounter them, because you would have done the work and you, you would have worked on yourself, you'll be able to, you know, recognize this person right away there are also certain things that are going to happen to you before this soulmate energy shows up or before they have shown up working on yourself is one of them okay it's the, the truth is i feel like maybe maybe you've already crossed paths with this person before maybe this is someone whom you've already crossed paths with but in the past, the two of you maybe weren't even ready for each other. So the universe has decided to orchestrate another divine meeting, another divine encounter with this person. But this time around, it feels like it might be a little bit different. It feels like you'll be able to recognize and, um, one another because you have spent some time working on yourself, improving yourself and fixing yourself. For some of you, I feel like you're coming, you have come to terms with a dark past. Or you have forgiven someone who has wronged you, someone who has pained you, someone who has brought you a lot of emotional trauma, okay? And instead, you are no longer focusing on the pain of it. You are instead focusing on the lessons that you have learned. I see that the person that I'm connecting to, you have made and you are making some very positive experiences in your life. What that means is because you are working on yourself, because you are improving yourself and you're stepping into a more authentic and better version of yourself there are people around you because you're healing past wounds there are people around you who aren't going to be understanding you this might this may include family members and close friends um there are people who the thing is they're not doing the sort of work that you're putting in so they kind of are going to be looking at you and they're going to think that you've changed. They're going to think that you're alienating yourself or you're acting a little bit strange or you're acting a little bit different. They're going to notice the changes in your lifestyle and the changes in you, but they're not going to quite understand that. It does not make them bad people. It doesn't mean that they're malicious energies or anything like that. It just means that they don't get you, that they don't understand you and they're not on the same journey as you are, okay? And maybe they're not meant to accompany you on this part of the journey but to those people that are experienced this uh, type of situation you have to keep focusing on you okay and especially when you start putting up boundaries if anyone becomes bothered by your boundaries okay if anyone becomes bothered by it and is not happy with the fact that you all of a sudden now are putting up boundaries it's because for way too long they've benefited you from not having any boundaries so just keep that in mind but you are finding balance in your life i feel like where in the past there was none about there was not a lot of balance i feel like you are 
finding a healthy balance between different aspects of your life. Um, and I'm seeing that things are flowing very naturally to you and around you. Your life is falling into place. This is why this person, uh, this soulmate energy is on their way to you. Or this is why you have, you are now starting to, you know, awaken and recognize the soulmate energy. Or you are starting to awaken and you're starting to do the inner work, the healing. Um, you're regaining confidence in yourself. Whereas I feel like in the past, maybe there were certain people who who were taking from you, who were emptying you, leaving you dry and they were taking and they've taken away a lot of your confidence as well. There is someone who I feel like is waiting for you. Okay. There is someone out there who is waiting to meet you. Someone out there who is waiting to be seen by you, to be heard by you, to be understood and loved only in the way that you can. But of course, this also could be the person that I'm speaking to, connecting to. You, there is someone here who's waiting and You can only love someone else when you, you can only truly love another when you love yourself, is what I'm hearing. And that is, I feel like that's the most important factor in finding your soulmate or recognizing your soulmate or creating the room and space in your life for your soulmate to show up. Don't be so full of doubt. Don't be so full of doubts don't be so full of concerns don't think that your soulmate has forgotten about you or that the universe has forgotten about you self-love i feel like is the beginning of all the other forms of love that follows also when it comes to when it comes to matters of the heart when it comes to relationships I feel like the, the tarot guides would like for you to know to trust yourself, to trust your instincts. Like, let your body speak for you, okay? If there's someone whose vibe that you're attracting, or if there's someone whose energy that you trust, or if there's someone whose energy that you don't trust, like, you will get physical sensations. Some people's energy will just honestly physically irritate yours, so trust that. Um, and when you get butterflies in your stomach, butterflies in your gut, um, any of those physical sensations, like trust your trust your body, let it speak for you. The person that I'm connecting to, you've been experiencing some deja vu lately, haven't you? You've, it's like, you may have only recently visited someone for the first time, or you visited a place for the first time but yet it feels really scarily familiar um this is your subconscious self telling you that you are heading in the right direction that you are on the right path so don't let it panic you like don't don't let it scare you this feeling of deja vu is something that's actually guiding you especially when you have met a soulmate or you're about to meet a soulmate um it's this feeling that when you instantly connect with them, it's that feeling of as if you have known them the, your whole life. Also, I feel like there is someone who um, you, you've delayed. There's someone that I'm connecting to, someone's energy that I'm picking up, where I feel like you've delayed your soulmate uh, from coming into your life. You haven't denied them, but you've been delaying them from coming into your life. Because of the hangman's energy, there's someone who I feel like they don't know what they want to do. Um, and that's not necessarily a bad thing, but there's someone who I feel like is at a point in their life where they don't know what they're doing in this world, or they don't know what it is that they want to do with their life. It's because they haven't quite figured it out yet. And because you don't know what it is that you want, you kind of tend to close yourself off to soulmate, um, to your soulmate. Good things happen to people that are ready for them, that are ready 
um, for the experiences and it's the same that I, it's the same with meeting a soulmate or with meeting you know um, a suitable compatible partner once you find your purpose once you find your calling once you find what it is that you are here to do and once you take that direction in your life the universe is going to send you a soulmate or is going to send you someone special who's going to walk with you down that road, who's going to accompany you on that journey. Um, sometimes your soulmate also pops up into your life and helps you with that. They give you the, the nudge and the direction that you need to head off in. Um, but this idea of just sitting there and waiting for something to come or this idea of just sitting there and waiting for answers to come or waiting for something to just happen this isn't a very good idea because there's someone who may want to travel the world or someone who wants to go live overseas or just live somewhere completely different but they're not getting started because they don't know where it is that they need to start so just sitting there and not doing anything is probably the worst thing you could do getting up getting out there and making it happen is going to help you become the person that you're meant to be and is going to help you attract your soulmate as well all right guys and i'm going to leave those messages there thank you for your time your energy your attention please show your support to the channel by liking sharing and subscribing it helps the channel to grow keep shining your light and if some of you just need a little bit longer to figure this out it's okay but just remember just sitting there and waiting for things, waiting to make things happen is not going to cut it. Alright guys, thanks again, bye for now.